In this video we bring you squeaky brakes and big helmets with some jibber jabber. Throw out some content people. Right, the night flux zone, red zone, I forget, red zone 8. It is the best light I've ever bought, other than the uh, um, Hope District 3s. What I've done, because when these are new, they come with some, I don't know, foam stuff on there. As you can see, it just gets worn off. So you just get some inner tube and tape it up like so. So then, when it sits on there, like that, and the strap goes around like that, it basically grips the frame and it stops it from doing all that kind of malarkey. So let's get that done, just like so. You want to find out about these? Night Flux, Australian. As always, it's simpler. I'll stick a link for you guys down the bottom, down below. Go and check them out. Things to remember, tuck laces in so they don't get stuck in chain. Tuck your trousers up like that, like a chav, so they don't get stuck in your chain. You know what I mean, innit? In local area, how lovely. I really don't know why, like, actually, years ago, I thought, why don't they extend the cycle path out along at least this section of road? I mean, look at it. It's a pavement, and there's a big caravan and touring park back there. So for, like, cyclists on one side, pedestrians on the other, easier access isn't it but you know funds are not available yeah sure they are now for other things aren't they look at the decorations gotta love a bit of litter you gotta love a bit of litter cans starbucks and cans with the daffodils how lovely this is all a bit new a bit too new for me though i like the older stuff that was there before Look at it, don't like it people. So today's ride I bring you how to get out of your town traffic free. And it's pretty easy. Point to point on the road, yep, yeah, but if you're just toddling around, whether it's five miles or fifty, like look for those those easy ways out of town traffic free. Even a sign, look at it, ripped to shreds. That's what I was saying the other day, when they like litter, you're not just like littering, right? You're just causing all kinds of problems. Like this is one of them that annoys me so much, where all the litter just gets blown into the bushes and things. And then the, the strimmer, the cutter, whatever you want to call it, comes along and rips everything to shreds. I mean, look at that can, look. Like everything just gets turned into a hundred pieces. But you know, all this, all these bits of litter, it just, it just blew out my pocket, blew out the window, didn't it? Right, P. Rawls local area. That's where I live, isn't it? So, I've kind of come along the pavement down there beside the A38. This garage in front of me closes about nine, usually, if you're coming this way. Uh, good to know in the summer if you want a late one. But I'll have to cross over here onto that side and I'll cross back over again. But point being, uh, with Sustrans route, and this is what I've been thinking, to get out of areas Like I wouldn't be riding on a pavement in a built up area, it's too much hassle for starters, get on the road, you know I'm all no, no claims of getting on the road now, but I'm just testing out, because I'm on the mountain bike Just tottering along on pavements, and it's showing people what else they can do uh, Cycle paths really, in effect, which yeah, if there's a pedestrian, you know, just go around them But they're very rarely walked on anyway, so win-win, that's what I'm thinking TT training. What part of like oil in the chain don't these people understand though? If you can hear that squeak on my bike, it's my darn brake disc. God damn it. That place there is called Brent Knoll. So they tell us. Alright. Maybe it used to be something else many planets ago. Maybe there used to be something on top of there. Or 
Here's another theory I've got, right? Maybe there's something buried underneath of it. Hmm. Of course, mainstream academia, is that a word? The mainstream academic nut job types would totally deny it, wouldn't they? Because it doesn't suit the official narrative. More future flowers on the ground there. There's planting seeds with cans. Look at all this shit here. And it goes on and on and on. What else can we talk about? Ever broke down on the motorway? Unluckily for me, I have many a time. That crap on the side of the motorway. Hmm. Will we find some road tr roadside treasure though? I usually like find like ratchet spanners and stuff. We're not scared of dogs, not anymore. Hardened up to it in Portugal. No problemo. See, look. It's not a path. It's a... It's a bike path. I'm going to say, like, never seen anyone walking on it. I mean, of course I have, but once in God knows how long, right? See, one advantage of a mountain bike, you just get out and ride. Sure, it's still bumpy in places, but I'm on here rather than on there. If I was on the run, no problem being on the road bike. But just a jeans and jacket kind of day, you know? It's actually pretty warm. Not like the cold that was uh, a few weeks ago. But yeah, uh, no doubt that'll be back. Mind your head, P-Raw. So what is it? February 16th, 17th? I forget, but daffodils. I just thought it'd be funny today, like, hilarious. Because sometimes when I do videos, they're kind of not stealth, but I just do them I think I'm doing them in different places, but <laughs> I can think it like, because I don't know who's watching, but a good, a good idea, and I don't even care if that makes sense, because if you did actually think that, then you wouldn't make a YouTube channel, but it could be quite entertaining for people that, especially if it's like your area, but on the, I'm not making it for them people, if that makes sense, well, I'm making it for anybody, but on the flip side of that, like the internet isn't just, Like here, is it, if that makes sense? It's all around the world, isn't it? So, people are watching from all around the world. And if you don't know where I am, because I haven't said, we're in the UK, the southwest part of the UK. Uh, as people can see, there's traffic around. I mean, they want the other day. It's, it's, it seems busier the past week. But there you go, look at that, look, it's so worn out. It's, it's practically like, well, I wouldn't call it single track, it's double track, but. Orange, good, get the, get the citrus in, yeah, we like to see that. <laughs> so yeah, as I was, was gonna nip in back there, this is just some entertainment, all right? Literally, entertainment. <laughs> Got an announcement soon, actually. Actually soon, it might be a few weeks, but I shall show you, I shall tell you and show you what that is. I'm quite excited for it. Uh, hopefully will be of, it will be of use. Heineken, anyone? Um, so yeah, we got that to come. An announcement on the P-Roll channel. Wow, how official. Wow, we're going up in the world. Costa Cups is another one. Somebody tell me how like Costa, right, have bought their way in everywhere can't get away from anywhere without seeing like a Costa machine. See that one handed on the MTB. We're going to hit it. We're going to hit it hard. You can't back off folks. See, you've got to hit it and hit it hard. Camera's down. Where are we going to be next? Just gone from from over there. I did the messenger move. We stopped here, traversed a couple of cars, then came onto here. It's all good. 
like a lot of archaeological sites and places. I'm serious what I say, right? What lies beneath? Who knows? So we had some rice last night. We literally stuffed it in. Nothing to eat today. Fasted ride. We're just on two coffees. A little bit of a uh, spring water from a cheeky little local spring. Don't want any of that denatured water that the water companies supply us with. We want natural water. So that's all good. Got all the minerals and natural. What can we say? I'm getting out of my depth here because. There's some things which we need to explore. I'm going to find out and put a table, a water table up of minerals and stuff. And then you'll understand and so will I. So we'll have a look. But you're getting all that, all that goodness. Processed water is a thing. A lovely grey clouds we have. Look at that, they were clearing all this the other day when I was going by. The amount of pavements that probably, I know it's all maintenance, but so easy to to get on and go for a walk or to get around is what they're for, isn't it? But like, this was, I never noticed a pavement here, but like you've got all that like underneath. All that underneath there. When I get um, up here in a minute, I'm going to have to cross over again. Obviously, you're going to have to do a lot of that. No bother. See this, look. A cyclist with a light. People need front and rear lights. Good man. If this is you and you're watching, hello. Stealthily being filmed by P. Wall. People on bikes though, when you're on a bike, it's nice to see other people on bikes. You know, Hedge, sleep in there, no problem. Get the hammock out. a message in this video p -roll. not really just a little jibber jabber point being is just go out and film stuff don't you i think when it becomes valuable really like stuff like the amount of videos i got on it i noticed the other day some of my uh old videos because of the quality now like they're not as watchable anymore like it's the more modern stuff pixels and all that but again, it's still up there and it's funny watching it. Nine years deep. So parte. Hmm. Do you remember? There used to be a guy or a group of people, Captain Gatso. I don't know if they got the website up still. And they used to go around ringing ca cameras. I think it's hilarious. Of course, don't condone stuff like that, do we? You know, tyres over the top of speed cameras with petrol in them. Job done. We're going to go this way. But yeah, they used to ring loads of cameras, burnt out everywhere. I think I've got a new disc at the front of here. Yeah, I know I do. And new pads. I mean, people ride their bikes like that all the time. Like squeaky chains though. Like, what? What's the excuse? I mean, people go on about all these dry lubes and these special lubes and squirt and stuff, which I use and I've tried. And you've got to need the right conditions. People say about applying it a certain way and that. 
I don't want to apply stuff a certain way. I just want to lube my chain and go and ride a bike and wet lube just gets the job done. That is it. There's so many things which have just been, you know, done and tested over the years and they work. Fair enough if you get new stuff out, all right? But it's people thinking of stuff that's something that don't really need to be thinked of only because they want some money. Money for their product. It's supposed to be better than something else. Oil is oil. Put some duck fat on there or something, you know? <laughs> Scene of the crime. Don't you just like it when the... Or don't you just love it when the sky goes like that versus... I don't know, there's a little break over there, but it's not as... See? That's because the sun's over that way, P-Raw. Or is it... Is it hologram? When you get um, signs that saying trespassers will be prosecuted, it should be like trespassers will be shot, you know? Keep off of people's property, is what I say. Don't they have that in like Texas or something? Well, you won't even ask questions later because you'd be shot dead, right? Triage. Bring them on them long videos, P-Roll. It's strange, isn't it? It's strange how, unless someone's got a dislike to you, right? Or, <laughs> I don't give a shit, right? Or they get off on something like, as much as summons down a video. <laughs> like, well, you know. Like, you know, like this isn't exactly bad content and I haven't said anything that could offend anybody. I'm just chatting out on my bike. Like how much pure and simple uh, can you get than that, right? Like, if, if people think that thumb, thumbing's down someone's video is really going to get them anywhere or whatever, then <laughs> all the best to you, you know? I think with coming with the thumbs downing on a video, you could at least leave a comment as to why. That'd be good. I mean, at the end of the day, right? If... <laughs> If someone sums in something down because they don't like you, but yet they're still watching your content, you understand? <laughs> obviously, they obviously don't. Again, you're going to get this arise now and again. You're going to get all sorts of things arise with making a YouTube video on your YouTube channel. Because I see a lot of other people trying to deal with stuff. And to deal with it, you just let it go over your head, all right? Simple as that. If people become abusive and things like that, then, well, you just have to block them, all right? I mean... There's nothing stopping other people from uh, opening up other accounts, but like, who cares? We're not worried. Actually, this video deserves a thumb down for squeaky brake. So, if you're going to thumbs this video down, thumbs it down and comment in the comments box that I need to sort, need to sort my life out because I've got a squeaky brake. I think it's getting worse because we're talking about it. I think it's like getting annoyed. I might actually call this a squeaky brake video. So, no clickbait. If one person watches it, that's probably all it deserves. Squeaky breakage. Filming in public, yes you can. People should film more stuff. More stuff for people to watch on the internet. More natural, wholesome videos. None of this crap. Look at that Tesla, Tesla. Don't know what model it is though, but they're quick those cars, aren't they? The brakes are good on here though, because I did bleed them the other day. We syringed them out. Very easy to do. Ash, I could have made a video. Too busy, too busy syringing though. Birdies, well there was, loads of birdies. Do you reckon they all know each other's names? Like, well, rather all know each other, because if they knew each other, then they knew each other's names, wouldn't they? The birds do that sort of thing. Do they all have, like we give them names, but have they actually got names themselves? Do they not label themselves like that? They just identify as being birds. 
drag the knobbly tyre but you just ride it different I remember I had um, some swalbs on the TCR once and when I went bike packing and uh oh man big mistake that was really like sluggish tyres I think the only thing they would probably benefit is if you were commuting maybe and with a lot of like towpaths and things like that and you just want to get somewhere and it didn't matter how quick but for riding them on the road awful tyre like 20 25s and it just like felt like you were cycling in you know custard jam whatever sticky gloop just awful and you don't really realize until you actually really put the other tires on disgusting tires Apertura feed bag in my opinion it's a feed bag but one of the worst designs feed bag ever absolutely awful might actually do a, a longer term review of that so yeah we're gonna upload this to internet tonight what did i say the other day we're just gonna we're just gonna upload content uh my outlook is whatever comes out wow look at that Ooh. whatever comes out sometimes you might make a good video sometimes you might make a bad one but that's good because who wants to watch people's content where everything's the same all the time I do watch a few channels, right, and it, it, whoever watches your videos, then brilliant, but for some people to watch certain things, like for what they actually put up, I think like, wow, like, you know, but... Again, what anyone can say about P Wars YouTube channel, right? I've been on it nine years, and I've got nine years worth of content on here, of all kinds of stuff. Uh, if anyone out there's got the the courage to go on YouTube and put content out, if you think you can do better, right, then please do. Please, please start a channel, right, and link me down below. Let's check you out. See what you got to do. What you got to say. All right. That's what it's all about. See, I'm looking at this lane, thinking how many times have I come down here, like the middle of the night. From like the start and uh, the end of a ride because despite me being I don't know four four miles or so from my hometown I've gone way out further south over towards like the Exmoor and Dartmoor area on some summer's evenings and then I come all the way back north and we'll like head up and skirt around Bristol maybe over to like Chepstow or something uh, there are a few of those rides on my Strava, whatever. And there's a lot I just didn't even bother. Sometimes I just didn't have enough batteries. I didn't always, well, I didn't even have a power bank, not always. So just go and ride your bike, innit? Look at that, look at those beauties over there. Trees, don't get me started on trees. Trees and road building, bypasses, what have you. The amount of like copses of trees in places, right? And just trees that have been slaughtered because of roads. It's gonna be like 30 minutes long this video. Do I care? No, you don't have to watch it. What's that pallet doing there? Random pallet. Yeah, look at that. Galvanized, galvanized gates. That's all this channel really is about. That's the message, right? Thumbs down for galvanized gates. See, hedges, as far as hedges go, don't really do much for me, but that, that. If I was a birdie, I want to live on that side of the lane, all right? Tweet, tweet, I'm on the other side of the mother street. Don't mind an old iron gate, or steel gate rather, like that, as long as it's rusty. Thank you. 
Yo, beauties. Better go, or I'll be here for a long time otherwise. Look at you, you beauty. Yeah, beautiful. And you, and you. I like your hair. Sorry, sorry, I flinched. I flinched. Well, no, I could find that for myself, but see that white line? That is something which could be everywhere with a cycle. You know, cyclist emblem so far down gives you like a lane. But there's a lot of people that ride this road, and a lot of people that ride this road often. And uh, it's only on a certain section, then it like ends so far up there, and it'll only like start somewhere further up here. You know, I don't know why. Why is it there? What's going on? What is going on? Do you think they had some excess white paint from there? And they thought they'd run it out here? I don't know, ask them. Do you know? You're white, do you know? Can you tell me? I shall be back. I'll be back. Has he got a backlight? Has he? Has he got a backlight? Oh, bad mistake. Main roaders, no lights. What's the matter with these people? Not hate him, just want to save lives. Salt and shake. Salt and shake and toss it into the grass verge. Well, tuck in, I don't think so. Scene of the crime. But wait, what went on here? Look at all that orange peel. Orange peel and a bit of tissue. A bit dodgy, isn't it? Today's episode brought to you by low carbs. Zero hydration and five hours sleep. Something like that. We're doing good though. <laughs> That's what we're riding, isn't she a beauty? 17.5 uh, medium Trek Superfly. Got this from Bicycle Chain about... When was it? Five years ago? I don't know, but done pretty good. If you're gonna have one bike, screw all this gravel bike rubbish, just get a, one of these. And you know, mountain bikes are so versatile. Like if it fall over, is it, if it falls over, or whatever, or you have a crash, boo hoo! Like you know, just go on it, get on it, and ride it again. All these other like, all these touchy people, their road bikes and that, all their carbon crap on there, falling over. Like you just like, one of those bikes fall over, falls over. It's like written off, isn't it really? Get, you know, get a real bike, get a real bike and use it. And get some jeans on and just like normal trainers or boots or whatever and go for a ride. I mean, Wellington boots, even better. Get your wellies on. So, yeah, the whole point of today's ride was to show that you can pretty much, well, you can ride any way you want within reason riding a bike, right? Get out your town, use pavements, and uh, go for a ride. That's what I say. P Raw over and out. But it looks so big, P Raw, so big. See, from a distance, it looks all right. It looks even bigger from a distance. <laughs> See, it's the difference in a road lid and an MTB lid.
Oh, P-Raw. P-Raw, it's so big. It's so big.